Effective email marketing Email marketing is quickly becoming one of the most popular forms of internet advertising. This is because there are many distinct advantages to the concept of email marketing. However, email marketing does have some disadvantages as well. In this article, we will examine the advantages and disadvantages of email marketing and will also provide some insight into how to plan and execute an effective email marketing campaign. Email marketing certainly has a set of unique advantages over other types of marketing both online and offline. Perhaps one of the most significant advantages of email marketing is the ability to reach a worldwide audience with minimal effort. It is certainly possible to reach a worldwide audience with other types of advertising but traditional types of advertising such as television, radio, and print media are not nearly as effective for reaching potential customers around the world all at once. Another major advantage to email marketing is it is extremely affordable. This is significant because there are many other types of marketing, including internet marketing, which are significantly more expensive than email marketing. The costs associated with email marketing are minimal. Ideally, you will already have a list of email recipients who are interested in your products and services so there is no cost associated with obtaining a list of email addresses. Additionally, the cost to send out emails is minimal and can be considered part of your regular operating costs. All of these factors already make email marketing extremely cost-effective. However, there is some cost involved in email marketing. Primarily these are the costs associated with writing the advertisements and creating any graphics which will accompany the email advertisements. This will require hiring a writer to write the copy for the advertisement and a designer to create and implement the graphics. The cost of these services will vary pretty widely but in general, you will pay more for writers and designers with more experience. This is because these writers and designers are expected to be able to produce a higher quality of work than those with less experience could produce. The most obvious disadvantage to email marketing is the possibility of having your email marketing viewed as spam. This is a very important problem because it could prove to be quite costly in terms of the profit margin for your business. Each day internet users are bombarded with unsolicited emails serving as advertisements. This problem has reached epic proportions and the abundance of spam infiltrating the email boxes of innocent internet users has to be cautious and suspicious about any email they receive which is unsolicited and appears to be promoting a particular product or service. Emails that contain subject lines or content which appear to be similar to spam may be automatically transferred to a spam email folder by the email system. Emails that are not automatically deleted may be deleted without being opened simply because the recipient does not recognize the sender of the email. Both of these problems can result in essentially wasted time for the business owner because the recipients are not even viewing the emails advertising the products and services offered by the business. Additionally, they may result in complaints being lodged against the company for being a purveyor of spam. Now that you understand the advantages and disadvantages of email marketing, you might wonder how you can maximize the advantages to use email marketing to your advantage. The most important factor to consider is your email distribution list. This should consist of former customers who have expressed a desire to receive emails with information and advertisements as well as potential customers who have also expressed interest in more information. The content of the emails should also be carefully considered. They should certainly highlight the products and services you offer but should do so without appearing to be a hard sales pitch. A writer with experience in writing this type of copy should be able to assist you in providing insightful and accurate copy which also entices the reader to find out more about your products and services. Finally, your emails should provide the readers with a call to action. This should be a statement urging the reader to take a specific action such as making a purchase or researching a product. Thanks for watching. Join our Facebook group and subscribe to our YouTube channel and grab your free courses from our website.